हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्वालिटी फूड सेफ्टी 101 दिस इज अरसलान टुडे इज द सेवेंथ वीडियो अबाउट द हैसअप सीरीज एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज वीडियो इज इंटेंडेड यूज दिस इज द थर्ड स्टेप इन द हैसअप कोडेक्स लॉजिक सीक्वेंस व्हिच इज 12 स्टेप्स ऑफ हैसअप इंटेंडेड यूज इज ऑल अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कस्टमर्स एंड द यूज ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस वन within the hasap manuals generally the intended use statement is just merely a single line or a paragraph describing what is the customers uh, preference or what type of customers are we targeting for this product and how they will use this product eventually but it's much more work back of the whole deal to understand and the, to understand the risk and the hazard associated with the customers so today we will discuss about this topic in detail Uh, before we continue please do subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content about food safety has up and covid 19 we like your support and appreciate it all the time thank you within today's video we'll talk about two major things one of the major topic for today's uh, video is the intended customer or the target customer of the product which we are developing the has up plan for so we need to understand the nature of the customer that's topic number 1 number 2 is that how will that particular customer use our product for example is the product ready to eat or raw this is just one example to describe the product so there are two elements within the topic of intended use the intended customer and the intended way of eating or consuming that product eventually we'll talk about both of these things today so in regards to the intended customer think about a company making dry powder milk for young babies a baby formula made by a company and compare it with the powder milk used for tea there are entirely two different products the risk factor is hugely different from each other one is targeting a vulnerable group which is young Uh, babies and the other one is targeting a healthy adults so we cannot com- compare the risk between the two and the hazard between the two as well of course for vulnerable group the risk and the hazard is much higher so we need to understand this kind of uh, target customers when we are planning the hasap because for a risk group which has young babies which has pregnant women which has uh, old people Uh, or immunocompromised people or people who are already ill these kind of people when we target them as our customers the risk and the hazard elevates very high if a catering company is having a catering contract for a hospital the food must be extra safe because it is going to go to immunocompromised patients it's not going to go for healthy healthy adults so there's a big difference in that of course please bear in mind the food safety for healthy adults is also very very important but it is far more important for already immunocompromised people so that's the element of the intended customer of the product or what type of customers are we targeting in the same way we need to consider allergy as well because there are some people who are allergic to some food products so if we are making a certain specific type of food we need to make sure that our food is clearly defining the allergy criteria within the ingredients or the packaging so that the people can understand that and on the other side if we are making a food product which is targeting certain type of allergic group for example if i am making gluten free flour so it has to be clearly labeled on it and it has to be clearly marked on my labeling so that the people can understand that so in all these criteria uh, we need to understand the customer first going forward with the allergenic example if we are targeting uh, a customer base which have allergy to gluten and i am making a flour for them my facility needs to be having much more higher standards of allergen control that's why we need to consider this risk within our customers
Now moving towards the second part. How is our product going to be actually used by the customers? That's the second part. In this part, uh, we need to understand the nature of our product. Is my product ready to eat? Does it need temperature control? Does it need to be cooked before consumption? All these things need to be considered and should be clearly communicated to the customers either through specification if it is a B2B or business to business deal or through labeling if it is a business to consumer deal. Imagine that I have uh, a chocolate manufacturing facility where I know that in the same facility nuts are being used in different brand of chocolate as well but in a chocolate which I am manufacturing uh, where there is no direct uh, involvement of nuts there can be cross contamination chances but I failed to mention that on my labeling. At a minimum I should be mentioning may contain nuts on my every product which is manufactured in the same facility because nut allergy is a huge problem. So if I fail to do that then a person who is having severe nut allergy can consume my product and, and potentially have fatal consequences. In the same way if, I, if my product is uh, uh, ready to use and I don't want my product to be refrozen because it was being frozen before also I need to mention that on my packaging. Another example for this one is that if my product is raw or partly cooked and I want my customers to cook it properly to a certain temperature and time to ensure the food safety and the killing of microorganisms I need to mention that on my product as well. So all this information comes from the from the analysis that how our product will be consumed by the final consumer. So that's the full detail about intended use. It has two things in it. The information about the target customers and the information about how our food will be consumed eventually. That's it for today's video guys. As I said before, please do subscribe to our channel. We need your support. This information is free for all. Please share the content, uh, you know, and uh, uh, we'll keep making such videos for your information. Thank you and see you in the next one.